Think you know everything about football? We're about to drop facts hotter than your girlfriend's mom. Like football used as punishment in ancient China. The most hostile football match, the biggest football stadium in the world. At the end, you will be scratching your balls saying, did that really happen? Subscribe and get ready to have your head blown like the way Chinese prisoners were used to getting their heads blown while playing with a rock-hard Kuju ball. Forget cave paintings, dinosaurs, and Tupac. Kuju is the real OG. Kuju is the first football and also a punishment. Kuju was used as fitness training for military cavaliers in China 2,500 years ago. What does Kuju have to do with football, you may ask? Kuju was the first type of football played with ball wrapped with leather. No, not the one between your greasy fat thigh. These were leather balls stuffed with clothes or woman's hair. We in the modern times collect fart in the jar. Our old Chinese pervs were all about that hair. Kuju initially made as a fitness routine became more famous and was played for the emperors. In the games played for the emperors, the players usually consisted of prisoners or teams selected by emperor. There was no time limit to the game and so was also used as punishment. Prisoners were forced to play it until they pass out. The ball was heavier and small and was very hard to hit even causing pain while playing. But it wouldn't have been a problem for our next player who kicked the ball so hard he could compete with Mr. Everything with his hardness. Am I talking about Messi? Is it Ronaldo? Is it Beckham or Skulls? Nah, that's not it. The longest goal came from a king. Not as in the king of somewhere. His name was Tom King, a Newport player. In a match between Newport County against Chelton Town and League, the attackers in his team Newport were so bad, my boy decided to score from his own box to another post. Talk about screamer. But Ronaldo learned to take the ball to his face thanks to his teammate Alvaro Arbelo. So Ronaldo was ready to cook against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League semi-final in 2013 and he was about to put the cooker in the stove. Arbelo and his own teammate hit Ronaldo in the face with a ball so hard he forgot how to play football for the whole match and lost the game 4-1. For Dortmund, Lewa Boy scored all four of those goals. And Ronaldo, despite scoring and having the third giant ball, lost the match. And we all thought he was a robot. Ronaldo may not be a robot, but our next footballer surely is. Pepper, the robot, who scored a free kick past a professional goalie in a 5v5 match. In a match held by SoftBank Robotics in Japan, Pepper, a literal robot, was dribbling past players and passing so good. He was given an opportunity to take a free kick, although his shot was weak, the placement and accuracy was perfect. Imagine the year is 2043 and there are droids playing football with jets on their feet for shooting. It would be nightmare for the audience in case the droids miss. It would be even hard for the officials at Maracana Stadium to safeguard the audience because the stadium is so big it can hold 200,000 people at the same time. Maracana Stadium is arguably the greatest stadium in football history having hosted some iconic matches like Brazil versus Uruguay World Cup Final in 1950 it was easily one of the greatest final in the football history. 1950 World Cup was the first World Cup after the World War II, and the environment was very much hostile for the Uruguayans being surrounded by almost 200,000 fans to Brazil, but Uruguay pulled out the most iconic upset in football history by defeating Brazil 2-1 and silencing the entire stadium full of 200,000 full. The World Cup Jules Rimet Trophy was presented in front of the whole stadium and handed over to Uruguay. Click on this video to learn why was the World Cup trophy hidden in a shoebox